This is Witter. Uh, if any of y'all have a Henry 22 lever rifle and you want to short stroke it and just learn a couple of things to help smooth it up, I'm going to share that information with you right now. First of all, on the buffer, the length of it will be anywhere from 275 to 290. Uh, some people call it the tougher buffer, some call it a bolt buffer, some a shock buffer, but they're made by Vol Corson, Power Custom, and Tactical Solutions. And you can find that in Brownells catalog. I'm also going to talk about the bolt and its width. And of course that width is 0.782. I want to take the rifle apart uh, for, uh, for for the speed of this video, and I hope to make maybe two or three parts. This is just part one. I've already taken the screws and the stock off, the side plate screws. With your hammer down, just after the screws are out, just lift it up. Lift your cover off. Your bolt should slide back off the rear. Lay those out. Cock the hammer. Now I'm gonna do this rather quickly, just to save time, and you can stop the video at any given part you want if you have to watch it closely. There's a, a pin right here about a quarter inch in diameter, and you will punch it out. It doesn't matter which side, just push it out, lift your bolt safety lug out, and the spring will come out. And that spring sits in a recess in the bottom of the bolt safety lug, and also, it's positioned down inside the receiver. The hammer's caught. That's all you have to take out. If by chance, I'm gonna cover this, in case you pull the trigger and the hammer comes forward, your hammer strut and spring will pop up. Don't worry about that. At that time, just leave it out or go ahead and put it back in. Line it up with the position. Set it in the back of the hammer and go ahead and recock the hammer. It's that simple. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the buffer and I'm gonna show you where it goes. We're gonna to try to focus the camera best we can in the receiver. It sits right here on this flat portion inside the receiver, which is in front of the hammer. See the little flat spot right there? That's where that buffer goes. I got small fingers so I can kind of position mine close I'll take a punch and I go on down in there and lay it on its cylindrical side the flat side the, the flat ends will be front to back and there it is the, this rifle is now short stroked and it won't cling because your lever will hit that buffer every time you work it I'm gonna take my spring. It helps you put some grease on it. It'll stay in position and stay upright. I'm gonna put that spring right there and don't be disappointed if it takes you a few tries to do this. Even after I've done a couple hundred of them, I have trouble sometimes. All right, I got that in just right. Take the, put that in position, put the pin through, and now I have a short stroke. It's that simple. Now the bolt. After you trim up the sides of the bolt and have the bolt width 0.782 front to back, putting it back together, cock your lever halfway open, set the bolt on the lever in the groove, close it, just like so, leave hammer cocked, And slide your hood back on. Put the screws in it, put your stock on it, and you're finished. Those are two mods. You got your short stroke. You've, uh, you've lessened the width of your buffer appropriately to where it's smoother in there. Plus, some Henry's, when you put in the hood back on and tighten the screws down, they actually put a cramp or clamp type feeling around the bolt. That's why I set it at 0.782 because that's a better width so that when your screws are snug, you still can get a real smooth feeling 
action in your rifle. I am now finished with that part of this. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Good luck.